Hello my dear family members, as you all know difficulties of Accenture physical assessment is slightly lesser than the online exam. So in this video we will see an advanced coding question which was asked on 30th September 2023 first slot. It might seem very easy but asked on advanced section right. By the way I will give you the solution in python and java as well. So keep watching till the end right. So let's see what is the question. So the question is regarding write a function minimum appends to palindrome that takes a string as input and returns the minimum number of characters that's, that need to be appended to the end of the string to make it palindrome. The palindrome is string that reads the same forwards and backwards right. So I hope you know that uh, input format is this a string is where this is the constant the length of the string and output is an integer representing the minimum number of appends needed to make the string a palindrome right so here is the sample input that is a b c d e and the output is 4 and for the second input the input is a b b a and the output is 0 how i am explaining for the first input if you append d c b and a you will get that uh, the string is same while reading from the forward and the from the backward right and if you append here zero string i mean zero letter you will get the string a palindrome because here this is already a palindrome right so we have we don't have to append any letter so i hope you got the logic right so if you understood the logic then start solving the question by yourself first then come to watch if you not possible right okay let's go to the solution part but before we proceed to the solution i would request you to please subscribe this channel to get such content regularly so at first define a function uh, def mean appends and take the string as argument and take a sub function right so each palindrome each palindrome to check if the number is palindrome or not right and uh, you know checking a number or checking a string is palindrome or not is very easier in python right by slicing we can achieve uh, the reverse form of the string and after that we can compare them if they are equal or not right so we can now just return return if string is equal to equal to the reverse form that is the slicing uh, string is 2 is 2 minus 1 just this way we can reverse the string and the function will return a uh, true if the string is palindrome or false otherwise right now uh, count uh, initialize a count variable which will be tracking the number of appends right so count is equal to zero now run a while loop while not is palindrome is palindrome sorry is palindrome the s right so continue the loop until the string becomes a palindrome right now at first remove the last character so s is equal to s is to minus 1 by slicing we can achieve that and just uh, increment the count for each character removed right so this way we can uh, obtain our goal right at at the last just return the count then this will be fine right so what i am doing i am making you understand just wait a little then it will be clear right so at first write the driver code take the input first right so s is equal to input and now print that function right so s i hope this will be fine right main appends s right okay let's run the code then check if this is right or wrong so for the first input that was a b c d e right and the output was 4 a b c d e and output is 4 this is fine and check if the second input is second input output is okay or not and the output is zero right so i hope you got the logic right so what we have done here actually uh we are checking if this is palindrome if not the, if yes then we are returning zero if not then we are actually removing the last character and keep uh, removing the last character until it is a palindrome right so this way we are actually incrementing the count and uh, returning the count at the end of the function right so I hope you got the logic in python so whoever are waiting for Py uh, java code java solution so let's see what is the solution actually i have pre-written the code for reducing the time so i hope you will understand the logic if you uh, 
uh, gone if you have gone through the python code solution right so similarly in java we have taken a function minimum appends to make the string palindrome and we are checking here in while uh, while loop that if that string is not palindrome then uh, just remove the last character and increment the count right and at the end return the count and this function is returning true or false based on if that uh, string is palindrome or not right and here actually we have written the main function and it is giving the total number of appends right so i hope you are benefited from this session right so if you found this video helpful then please subscribe this channel and watch the playlist regarding accenture on campus coding question accenture off campus coding question and accenture previous year question right so thank you for today's session